Here with me behind this board here, I have seven points on how you can actually enjoy life without breaking your savings. Yeah, I know there is that aspect of each and every one person, including me and anyone who is out there. You want to enjoy life, you want to be happy, and at the same time, you are conscious. You know, subconscious tells you, hey, you want to save, you want to invest, and also to grow to the next level. Today, I'm actually showing you seven tips on how you can actually enjoy it, what, life, without you breaking your savings. And by the way, guess what? My videos, I don't charge anything to watch. It's free. The only thing I would love to get from you as a return, a show of love, you know, instead of a cup of coffee, is to like this video and also hit that like button out there and also comment down below and make sure, by the way, there is a small button written subscribe. Hit it. Why? Because you'll be notified whenever I upload a new good video. Let's get into the business, all right? Now, point number one is to identify your source of happiness. That's the very first thing that you're supposed to understand. Some people will tell you, hey, my happiness, by the way, before I even give examples out there, I'm going to give myself. Personally, my happiness comes from I travel. I love traveling. I love adventuring. I love knowing, you know? And, and, and by the way, if today you dare promise Joseph, like, hey, guess what, good Joseph? I'm um, Tomorrow we are going for a road trip. I am telling you, I behave like a kid. I don't even eat that supper. I kind of prepare the way as early as I can. I, I can even set alarm in multiple times. I, I just love that thing. I become crazy. So I know, fine, this is exactly what I love. So understand what makes you happy. What is your happiness? Some people tell you, hey, I just love when I relax with my friends when we are drinking. Identify it. I just love when I visit family members. I love when I do one, two, three. I love when I do back ride, bike riding. I do when I drive. I mean, just identify that what makes you happy. All right? Are we together? Fine. Up to this particular point, identify it. Once you know this is what makes me happy. If you give me this one, then I'm good to go. One. So after identifying what is it now, guess what happens now? The next point is that two, count the costs. All right? How much does it cost? For example, well, if you're watching this video, I'm, 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 I'm making this video from Kenya. I'm a Kenyan, by the way, an African to be specific. Now, uh, the coastal region of our country is called the Mombasa. That's where we go to nice ourselves during the holidays and what have you. So say I would like to have a road trip all the way to Mombasa. Say I would like to grab a flight, how much will it cost? If you say I would grab, grab, grab a train, how much will it cost? If I grab the, the matatus or the taxis and butter, how much will it cost? See, you have to actually understand how much does it cost you to go a, a, up there and actually enjoy yourself. For example, maybe you do some, uh, you know, boat riding. How much does it cost? Skiing. Is it called skiing or whatever? Whatever the activity that makes you happy out there, count its cost. Say you would like to go and do surfing and you come from the interior part of the country, then it means you got to go to the weather east coast, west coast, whatever the coast it is, but at least you got to, to be there. The water has to be near you for you to do the surfing, okay? And maybe say snowing, and maybe you're doing so on summer, I mean, maybe you have to go to a tactic, you know, get what I'm saying? I mean, calculate the cost of actually doing exactly that. So once you identify how much is that entails, then the frequency the frequency at which you do that specific thing. If it's about road trip, how after how long do I go for that road trip? And then compare that against how much do you make. Therefore, if it is logic to actually go ahead and do so two times in a month, and actually do not break up the amount you say that you're going to save, and how much do you agree? At least 20% of your money should be channeled towards investment, for the, or rather saving for the purposes of investment, then if it does not actually affect that, and you can eat, you can drink, you can pay your school fees, you can pay all other basic meals, the utilities and what have you, then you can manage to go for two times in a month, so be it. If it tells you it's two times per year, so be it. If it tells you it's one time per month, if one time per year, two times per three months, whatever the case is, actually consider that. After identifying it, cause its cost, look at it against how much you make so that at least you can be able to go ahead and do something. For example, I have a friend of mine who does this each and every month or rather each and every year. For example, I'm making this video during the December of 20 something, some few days to a new year. This is what he does. It's every beginning of a new year. They get to a group where they usually set aside as low as 300 Kenyan shillings per day. That's equipped to like 105,000 or something of sort at the end of the year. So that amount of money, those guys, they can actually go all the way to host of the Mombasa. They can enjoy themselves. And you'll think like, hey, these guys usually have a lot of money. Though they don't have a lot of money. What they do is to plan themselves. They already know, hey, we usually feel good as a family when we go somewhere, when we go for vacation, when you go for the safaris, when we go for, you know, whatever that makes you happy as a you or as a family. It's good to understand understand that okay now the number three is to adjust where applicable pick less expensive hobbies obviously 
I know maybe deep inside of you, you may be thinking about, hey, I'm going to go do the boat riding and or yacht riding. Obviously, that one will be a bit expensive unless you are a billionaire, right? It's okay, you can go do that. There's some people even compete with boats and what have you. It's okay, you can do, do that. There's speed cars on the waters and what have you. You know, there's some of the expensive hobbies. You want to do some hel helicopter rides, different arounds, and it makes you happy. O obviously, you do that if you can be able to afford it, okay? And if it is possible, if you just want to enjoy your life and don't break your savings, is to make sure that at least you pick a hobby that you can actually afford to sustain. Don't pick a hobby that you be making some three or four videos here on YouTube or on TikTok showing us how, you know, you're flexing in life, enjoying your life. The next minute you have been uh, announced bankrupt, you know. It's not really... <laughs> We aren't in competition with anybody. That's for sure. Pick up that thing that you care you can you can sustain it throughout your life. That's a reality. Don't grab those coffees each and every time, and you know the much you're paying, or the much you're paying in those areas vis-a-vis -vis the much you're making. That ain't gonna even get you for the next three or five months. Pick that you know that you can afford. And again, remember one thing. I always tell people. It is good to accept where you are. And don't forget, when I say accept where you are, is different from appreciating. Just accept where you are, but don't appreciate. When I say don't appreciate, I mean like, hey, this is the situation that you are. You cannot overstretch yourself and then go enjoy like other people there. But do this. Apply some things on how can actually elevate you from where you are. All right? That's what you do. Because that, 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 that does not only solve your financial aspect, but also the social aspect. Especially this holiday season. We have people who are behaving in a different way. People are flexing. People are showing up in the, in the up country with heavy vehicles, heavy machines. Some of them actually, those are rental cars and all those kind of things. Just don't get yourself unnecessary pressure that can actually break yourself out there. Trying to sort of, you know, stretch yourself all over that sudden so that at least you can be like them okay be careful number the other point is that build social connections without spendings there are some social connections that you ought to, to 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 build out there because i told you hey it is good to have social connections because at the end of the day we say your network is equivalent to your net worth so you can go out there and pay what we call the fit in expenses there's something called fit in expenses fit in expenses fit in expenses is whereby you're hanging around with people who usually drink very expensive uh you know tots or or whatever shots or whatever you're gonna call it and you cannot afford it but if you because you don't want to lose this group you don't want to get out of this group because there's one thing that maybe you guys share in common then you have to pay the fit in expenses so don't pay these fit in expenses pick a group create the social network with people who actually will cost you way less or even nothing so that at least you do not get yourself on a financial crisis. Again, on the social cre creation of the social connection, for example, can you imagine this? You want to go for safaris, you know somebody who knows like every game park that we have in our country. Like if you want to go for that uh, boat riding, you already know somebody who controls that thing. If you want to do something, maybe to do with the helicopter or whatever, you know somebody who does the specific thing. If you want to do this ice skating and whatever, you know someone who has actually you know information about that. So there's some connection that you can create and therefore, that can actually get you into a good position. You just make a call, okay? Hey, hi, how are you doing, buddy? Hey, hey, by the way, I'm looking forward to taking my family into Masai Mara, one of the biggest game parks or game whatever in Africa. I want to take them there, by the way. How much will it cost? Maybe you have some guys who operate the jets and what have you, somebody who can uh, take you, uh, take a flight from one place to the other. You can just give them a call, and then it means that, hey, you may not get a discount, or probably you may because they're your friends, but what you get is a real figure. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Eh? Because sometimes when you make a call to an individual, to a place where you really don't know, you cannot even anticipate how much they're going to ask you. So whatever they throw a figure out there, probably you're going to believe because you do not have any information. All right? So it is good to make sure that at least you have these different kind of people. For example, it's about doctor. You have a doctor at your, expo at your dis disposal. Um, if it's about uh, maybe, maybe let's say finance, you have somebody whom you can call out there. You know, before uh, going to purchase a certain package out there, you can make a call from them so that at least you can inquire uh, which or whether you are getting the real figures out there. So those are the nitty gritties that you ought to consider when you're actually creating these social connections are quite essential and important. Say you would like to start a business, you want to sell some automobile or spare parts of automobile or motorbikes and what have you. You have an individual just a call away, you can just throw them a call and then you're good to go. That one actually helps you not to pay all those kind of extra costs out there of not 
knowing all right let's go to the next point compare prices before purchasing yeah it's a very good character don't just show up to one place buy that thing without even comparing what others are offering it's always good to take your time compare point a b c d and all of those those kind of things justify why you're buying that item the price that you're buying that item vis a vis how much you ought to save and uh, what type of the solution or problem they're gonna solve and all those kind of things okay don't just show up in one place the thing is nice as you it's happy it's good and then you go ahead go to your pocket or your credit card you buy the thing and you're done no it's good to make sure that at least you compare prices of different areas well if you come from africa specifically kenya you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah maybe this information may not maybe resonate with guys out there but hey if you come from this place by the way you can buy like this pen all right maybe you can buy at 50 and then you go out there and then you rather you can buy at 50 and then you realize there was somebody who was selling at 30 Probably you could have just, just added 10 on it, then you get two of this. So it's always good. It feels so bad. Can you imagine showing up at a place and people say, hey, how much did you grab that for? I, I, I bought it at 2,000. Oh, 2,000? I know a person who can actually does this, do these things at 1,500. You're like, oh, man. Get what I'm saying? So compare, all right? The other thing is negotiate prices. Well, 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 yeah, yeah. That's one does not need any introduction. Obviously, you get discounts. So, because, hey, if you're dealing with people, uh, you know, maybe the pawn shops, maybe how, however you call it, from the hawking or out there, and, and then you just grab a thing, you don't negotiate, you're likely to be smacked with unrealistic figures. The last one, but don't, don't know the least, is a practice mindful spendings. Also, that one doesn't even need any introduction. Just be mindful of what you're spending. Have the budget and stick to that budget. Remember one thing, for you to achieve the financial freedom, you ought to have three things. Number one, sacrifice, discipline, and consistency. Those are the thing, three things that you ought to have for you to achieve that goal that you're looking forward into achieving. Guess what, guys? That marks the end of my video, but not the end of me posting a video each and every time. So the only thing that you can do so you don't miss any of my good videos in the future is to like this video and also comment down below there. And also, guess what? Subscribe to this channel. All right, and move to the next step. And don't forget, you can grab my number from the description of this specific video. Shoot me a call. I offer those services at a personal level. I also have booklets about investment. You can grab a copy and get started. For now, it's a goodbye. See you in the next one.